Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I have really, really good news for you. So I had a plugin called Cypress Eve. It allowed you to write conditional testing in Cypress command chains. And for a while this plugin was broken. It was broken in Cypress version 12, starting from 12.0.0, and only because a user submitted a pull request fixing it for Cypress version 12, it started working again today. So let me show you how this plugin helps you write better code. On this page, sometimes in 50% of chances, um, this uh, pop-up appears, cookie consent, and you have to click agree, otherwise you cannot do anything. But in some cases, it doesn't appear, like in this case. So it doesn't appear. And how do you close this pop-up only if it appears? Well, of course, you can write about using my plugin, but the easiest way is to do the following. Install the plugin using Yarn or NPM or whatever tool you're using. Once you install it, import the plugin in your spec or your support file. And now let's think about what happens if this pop-up is there. Let's look at markup. Okay, it's S side with class banner. Okay, so if it's there, then we wanna click on the button agree inside. So we got the pop-up, we'll say contains button agree, click. So kind of happy path of uh, the pop-up was found. We click on the button and let's say we confirm that it's no longer visible. Remember, in a Cypress end-to-end -end test, you always want to add command that act on a page and then add assertions to confirm the application did what you expect to do. Okay, so that's called great. But what happens if a pop-up is not there? By default, it exists in the DOM. It's just, it's invisible. Okay, well, it means we want to click on this button only if the pop-up is visible. So this is the syntax added by Cypress if, if visible. Okay, that's it. So the uh, visibility assertion fails and it moves on to the next command, skipping the rest of this command chain. And just to make it more clear, you can also add else chain saying, if it's not visible, we can, for example, log not visible. Okay, so no pop-up visible, goes to the else branch, not visible, and then moves on to the last command just to confirm that it's not there. And let's get into situation where it clicked on it, right? So right here, found it, clicked on it. And you know, maybe just to make it even simpler, let's pause it for a second in case it's visible and then close it. Okay, so Cypress Eve is now supporting Cypress version 12. It also back supports Cypress v11, v9, and so on. And just to thank the user who submitted the pull request, uh, this was the original pull request that fixed the problem. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, you know, external help with this bug. Honestly, this is why I keep all my plugins in separate repositories. So someone with you know, a need can just come in and work in a single repo, really easy, you know, single index.js file with all the tests set up and can submit a pull request with a very nice fix. Thank you.